Good evening. So after quite some time, I thought like to show you how I store my perfumes. So this cabinet you can see is my shelf for my perfume. I have a very little collection. I don't uh, stack up my perfumes that much because uh, there is an issue of spaces and also taking care of as I buy a lot of expensive perfumes uh, because I have more interest in uh, niche perfumes rather than the designers so those are quite expensive doesn't matter if, even if people think we are bragging about it uh, but it's not true uh, perfume is something I love I do it from my passion so that's why I thought like to give it a good preservation system so that I can use them for many many years and um, there's a very frequent question uh, I get to uh, ask from my community and also uh, from um, YouTube as well uh, that how can I preserve or how can I store my perfumes so that it can stay well for a long time so I have seen a lot of videos and uh, I came to uh, understanding that preservation system is almost same wherever you are uh, but according to the location uh, my preservation is a bit different than the people who are located in much cooler place like Canada America or UK because my country is super hot uh, let's say about eight months or nine months in my country. It's super super hot like right at the moment It's almost 40 degrees Celsius and the humidity is awful So in such cases, how am I preserving my valuable perfumes? That is a question to many so first I want to show you how I actually uh, you know Organized my thing. So this is a nice cabinet. Actually, this is called uh, What do you call it vanity organizer? That is what it called. I bought it from a very popular designer house uh, I mean for furniture <laughs> designer house and It cost me a good amount of money, but it is a really good stuff if you have that much of perfume, I think you can invest on something like this. It has a good cut work in the front. These are processed wood and uh, it has um, a nice glass here. It has a night display light here. Um, one thing, I turned on my light today, but usually i don't turn on the light because in this room as you can see there is a air conditioning on and of course the, the, my room has a fan and the first thing you must remember where you preserve your perfume it has to be cool it has to be dark and it has to be dry so as i said i'm living in a place where it's 40 degrees celsius and humidity is awful so uh, we have to preserve in that way so that I can save from all this thing and in the winter I mean in the chilly chillier place they have a lot of benefits that, that they don't have to think too much about the heat but we have to think a lot about the heat I'm coming to that part a bit more let's go and see the inside Uh, so this is a revolving organizer isn't it pretty so I have kept quite limited because I think uh, pushing too much uh, won't be a good idea so there is nothing very specific but I try to keep the brand uh, like I kept my Killians here. I do have some more. I think that is in uh, In my purse or something I was using and I have some um, MFK and Tom Ford in the same place because 
I didn't buy much from them. MFK is definitely not my favorite house. I do like uh, the Aqua Celestia Forte, but I'm not a fan of Baccarouge 540, which is a super heat, much sold perfume. Yes, not everybody is a fan of MFK. Anywho, so if you see my organizer, it is how it is made. It has a platform down here and it is tucked here. They have put up some bolt or something like that. So usually I don't put up the light because the first hard and fast rule of preserving your perfume is you cannot keep it on the light. It has to be in the dark and cool place. So as usual, as I said, I live in a warm place, really, really warm place. So I have bought this uh, vanity or the revolving organizer because it has a door, this door. Behind it, it was the designer that outcut work. So uh, I get some general questions like uh, where to keep, where to keep uh, the perfume. So you can keep always something. Really doesn't matter if you can buy something like this, that's great. If you can't buy something or invest on something like this, you can buy a simple shelf with uh cover of course it has to it must have a covered door i would prefer because it, before this one i had another shelf with uh a, that was a three stored and it has a box down but that one has a glass in front basically that was uh without the cover up first part that means that was without the glasses but i put up the glasses because i wanted to keep it lock and key it's just not only about the preservation of the perfumes but also it is for the security of the perfumes because let's say if if you give a glance uh, on this perfume rack i hope you can understand these are quite precious and even if once somebody uh, pick it up because these are from my heart and cash it's not nothing like youtube is paying for my perfumes no it's nothing like that uh, i'm paying from my own separate income so uh, i have to work for that so if somebody picks it up I'll pick one up and just run away i will feel really really bad so in that case, of course, preserve your perfumes in a closed door cabinet. That's a must, must, must. Um, another question I get, what kind of perfume I wear all year round? See, uh, when I said it's a eight, nine months, it's a warm place. That is how we buy uh, nature. It, it comes from uh, inside that we should wear fresh. I do like goman perfume but i get very little chance to wear them because in a 40 degree high heat i'm not sure how much you're gonna like on yourself a goman perfume so freshy perfumes are more welcomed so if i show you like here you can see it's a cheyenne blue sicilian lime vein and knife that is another one which is uh, a freshy again there's oolong cha another freshy tea fragrance Airing lilac pad that is a, again the freshy so it's fresh gomandi rose barbaranza it's on the back because this is that is my winter wear in this 40 degree heat i won't be able to tolerate that here all the mooglas then guerlain so these are all the freshies now freshy means usually starts with the fruity part bagamot lemon lime orange these are the freshies and if you are new in the game perfume game of course i'm sure you know el, el, almost every single perfume's top note starts with a lemon and lime bergamot these kind of notes and these are the least uh least sustainable notes that's why these are on the top notes that you'll get at least something bergamot lemon these are never on the base note because you won't be getting even them it, they have very less power they are very less powerful and it stays very less that's why whenever somebody is making a freshy perfume or with the lemony citrusy vibe 
always on the base note there is a vetiver or okmas or something like mask something like that so that will keep up the vibe of the freshness in the hot weather we the summer based countries we use that kind of perfume more so in the high heat whenever this less longevity notes which stays less it stays more or less in my countries or in my side of the location in that case how do i preserve so let's say there are some people they preserve the perfume in many more different ways in my country i have seen most of the people keep the perfume on the dressing table or on their vanity so that they can just pick up the perfume and just use it but for me i have never kept it in the front once i kept in the front and then i changed the decision because i was quite scared that people will take away my stuff so i mean i don't stay at my home the whole day long i usually go to office and then whenever i come back who picked it up it can be anybody everybody has access to my room so i don't know so that's why i don't want to get into that trouble so i bought a shelf a separate cabinet usually people don't buy a separate cabinet for perfume in my country because this is a luxury item and people think before they invest on it let's say uh i will find very few people who will spend 500 dollar on a perfume in my country very few let's say 0.01% or 0.02% very less very very less rather than that they will buy at least 8 to 9 perfumes for 500 dollars they will be happily spending that yes they can spend 500 dollars but they won't spend on one perfume so that is how their mindsets are mostly but um it is not like that whenever they have the money in the pocket also they're going to spend on that kind of price tag on it and so when somebody is spending like that they will buy it but the the but the number of that is very very less so in that case uh how they're preserving it they're keeping it in shelf or cabinet sometimes locks sometimes not interesting in other places i have seen very less very very less people keep it in the refrigerator why refrigerator uh because in the cool place perfume stay much longer well now i don't support that part why my country is extreme in heat so you're keeping a perfume in the refrigerator and you bring it out whenever you want to use it it will be good for some time then again you won't be able to keep it the, in the fridge all the time it's not possible you have to have a separate fridge which is another headache which never happens because <laughs> otherwise you have to have a completely se separate fridge in your house just to keep the perfumes which is i see in reality it's not possible and in the fridge whenever you're keeping a perfume or something like that i know the objection you get from the you know the family members other in the house they stay the do give because uh, the living style of asians are very different from the western people so that is not also a practical thinking of storage um i wear all year round the question was uh, what i wear mostly i wear freshy perfumes i love freshy perfumes because that is easy to wear and that is uh inoffensive perfumes that's why guaman perfumes heavy perfumes those are for my winter wear so there is a there was another question do i take special care of my expensive perfumes sometimes see here is uh, my kilian um my one of my atomizer i kept it in the velvet uh, bag it is of its own i kept i have uh, another velvet bag of it's this one um i have another velvet bag of for this one i didn't keep it that way but i kept it this because this is the gold one then again hmm, if you see i have kept it out 
because it was not required. So I didn't feel like to because this one is a closed door thing. I didn't feel like to, but otherwise, if I were keeping it outside, not in this cabinet, probably I would keep it inside its own box it came with. This one, also the weed, that one, also my Beau Chanel, all three. So, yes, sometimes I do keep it in a special, I, I do take care of special expensive perfumes. So, consistent temperature. Mm. This is a challenge in my country because uh yes it is heated let's say my country uh it barely goes under 25 degree in the normal summer or autumn or spring whatever you say it's very 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 rare so in that case i would say mm, that is not even practical that's why my cabinet is in a ac room it will keep it cool not cold cool because uh 40 degrees celsius right at the moment i think my room temperature is something around uh, 24 if i'm not wrong so that is one kind of consistency in the room temperature um so oh one very popular question does perfume go bad hmm. if you don't store it correctly uh, yes, because these are concentration of the perfume oil. So yes, if you don't take care of it, as my country is very warm country, it can go bad. But I would say there is no expiration date of perfumes. How does it make your perfume bad? Color will change, it will, the smell will change, and you will understand that it went bad it smells funny um, okay so there was another question like, uh, if I need to preserve the perfumes in uh, cool and uh, dark place then how perfume stores or the fragrance boutiques how they're displaying their perfume so see when you're talking about the perfume display or the perfume fragrance boutiques or the stores they have their special arrangement like if you go to a perfume shop how do you smell it separately because there everywhere is the perfume and every after like after two three sniffs you smell coffee so that it neutralizes your smell how they're doing it if you see their ventilation system for the air conditioning the vents are always near somewhere top of the perfume displays that is how they're keeping it they do have their own arrangements it is done by the interior of the store when they're doing it so that is a absolutely that's a business thing that is not a household thing right so uh let's go to the next one mm, is there any difference of the present day okay preservation of decants and perfume bottles full size so let me show you i do have my oh here so here are my decants i don't have i have some more decants but those are like in the other room i kept it separately so these are my expensive decants there are Kilian decans there are house of siage there is the merchant of venice uh, sample and oh let me show you another interesting thing so this is my perfume samples so I keep sample this is a glass glass bottle this is one kind of preservation because the samples never have their cap so it's very easy to be vaporized so I keep it in a glass jar I know it's a very minimal protection but still it it is something and also uh, about the decants you can't do much for the decants to be very honest so if you have decants just use it up quickly because those are open the bottles are open it came in uh, the touch of air so it will get ruined quickly if you don't preserve it correctly so my suggestion will be as i'm taking care of similarly as you can see my full size and my um, my decants are at the same place 
so I'm giving the, them the same treatment but the thing is I'm using them more frequently because these are now near to my hand at the same place whenever I like it and the people who has this much of perfume I hope you understand we don't use every perfume every day right we keep on changing like today I'm feeling like to wear rose I will wear rose and then I'm gonna feel like to wear something lemony I will wear weed then I will the next day I'll feel like to wear something sexy I'll use Mugla so this is what happens um, you will keep it in that way now change of colors I'll give you a very good example people ask me like changing colors is that bad or it is a sign of um, the perfume is going bad or something like that let me show you if you just give a search uh, with the Killian love don't be shy in my channel you'll find I have uploaded something because I was upset and I was looking at that and I was thinking that I bought something oh let me show you what I actually uploaded Mm, where is it okay so if you have time you can check it out so this is the Killian don't be shy the first first sample I bought it was a decan and you can see it's a very dark orange beautiful juice so what happened when I bought my piece it was quite light it was lighter than this if you see my video you'll see the liquid was much more lighter than this one it was like very like distilled orange it's something like that I felt like I bought some Fanta it's distilled Fanta so I was quite upset and I uploaded that even after seven months it's not because people said uh, in the course of time it will change its color so I was when I did the video it was after seven months of my purchase and the juice was like that all of a sudden when I was uh, tr uh, like um, someday I was organizing probably 10 or 15 days back and I just noticed this is changing color hmm. this is changing color so it is something good because the smell of this one is much more stronger than that one I was upset well, for that reason because when you buy a full size you expect what you smell from this bottle you get the smell same uh, smell from that bottle so uh, this is something one example another example if you check my Erin lilac path you'll see in that video there sorry the background is golden uh, the juice of uh, lilac path was much more lighter but now it turned much more darker yellow so I guess it is going to turn much more uh, darker yellow in the course of time it's not bad it's not bad because I sprayed yesterday morning and it smells absolutely gorgeous it doesn't change anything and since it is inside a covered or with a door cabinet the temperature is absolutely fine the air conditioning is on so I can be sure that it's not ruined so color changing is sometimes is not a sign of the it's a aging of the uh, perfume of course but not all, every perfume is ruined when it uh, changed the color I do love vintage perfumes I have a special corner for vintage perfumes especially uh, how I grew up I said several times in this channel that I grew up smelling <laughs> Chanel 5 so Chanel 5 if you know better Chanel 5 perfume the small small bottles which my our moms used to use in the first place as a very uh, what do you call it a very expensive one still till today it's expensive and those are the memory of uh, very vintage perfume those in the course of time those also go very darker liquid in the course of time so I have seen that quite long back people who are new to the perfume game they will understand these things slower and I hope I could answer you all of your questions 
on the storage system of perfume this is how I store and of course the change of colors what to do what not to do how I feel these are my things what I do so if you like my video please like share and comment if you have any question definitely shoot your question I would love to answer and once again if you're new please subscribe my channel I'll get back to you with more thank you bye bye